Hey what's up guys welcome to the third selenium web driver tutorial again my name is Abhilash and in this tutorial we are going to see some more selenium IDE commands that we can use to automate testing of web page applications so in the last tutorial one thing I forgot to mention is uh, if you are working with a web browser which uh, doesn't have a URL open currently so uh, what you're supposed to do is your very first command in the selenium IDE should be opening a URL so as you can see the first command is opening a URL since it was already open so in the last tutorial I simply uh, manually typed the commands that I wanted to execute so whenever you are working with a fresh browser and it doesn't have any page that is opened uh, we are supposed to open the URL and that should be the very first command in the selenium IDE so in this tutorial we are going to see so first of all let's save this test case as uh, test3 which we forgot to save in the last tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see some more commands like uh, storing a value in the selenium ide which we can use later in our commands okay and uh, we can also print the stored value so let's get started with the new test case so first of all let's open a URL it is open and again the same URL we just copy and paste it over here okay and then the command is uh, store so as you can see we have a number of commands such as store alert store alert present and then the other store commands so what we will be working with is a uh, store in this tutorial and in the target we have uh, value so what value we are supposed to store okay so let's say we have sample value and in this case we have a value field to be mentioned so basically this is nothing but this is the variable in which we want to store this particular value so you can name it uh, anything like uh, let's name it i so basically this is the way in which you can uh, store a particular value which is uh, mentioned in the target column and uh, the variable name will be mentioned in the value column in order to uh, print this particular stored value what we can exactly do is uh, there's a command called as echo okay so as you can see echo command which will uh, simply print the value that you mention the value of the variable that you will mention in the target column so the format to mention the variable name is uh, dollar open parenthesis name of the variable and then close parenthesis so this is the way in which you mention the uh, variable and uh, the format in which uh, you are supposed to mention the variable so that uh, it will print it in the log section of the selenium ide so if you run this test case so first of all it will open the url it will store the sample value and as you can see it has uh, echoed the value that is sample value over here in log so in this case you can uh, use the store and echo commands in combination in order to store any particular value and print it on the in the log section of uh, selenium ide so uh, in this tutorial will do one more thing that is uh, typing the stored value in this uh, username and password so we can quickly create we can quickly find out the locator of these input box so id is username for username and uh, id is password for password so let's just quickly 
uh, include the username and password in our script username and over here instead of echo we can type it type the username and the value will be i so if you execute this test case you can see i've opened the url stored the username and yes the stored username in the variable i has been uh, typed in the username text box again uh, what we can do is uh, store target will be password and value you can say j again you can uh, type this value in the target id equals password and the value will be dollar open and close parenthesis j inside the parenthesis okay so basically if you open a new tab and execute this test case so it stores the username and password and uh, types the same stored username and password in the required input text boxes in the web page so basically this is the way you can use a store and echo fields as we have seen in this tutorial so let's just quickly save this test case for future reference so that's it in this tutorial catch you guys in the next tutorial